You know, one thing we see quite a bit of in the gun community is people latching on to little colloquialisms or little statements of fact that aren't actually true simply because it suits their narrative. You know, like 9mm is just as effective as 357 Magnum or, you know, size doesn't matter. Uh, just things that we latch on to in the everyday world that, you know, make us feel better about ourselves or our choices. So, today I want to take a moment to address one of those things. I like to do a little video every now and then that addresses one of the things I think people believe that just isn't true. And today, I want to talk about revolvers versus semi-automatics. I want to speak about one very specific aspect of a revolver versus a semi-automatic. Now, the one thing most semi-automatic people can actually say over a revolver when they try to discredit a revolver as a carry weapon is that semi-automatics just carry more rounds. They, are, they just have much higher capacity. And in general, that's true. If you're willing to carry like a 9mm, etc., something in that caliber range, then yeah, you can get more rounds in it. Especially if you have a larger gun. You can get 15 up to 20 rounds in one gun. Now, you can get 8 rounds of 357 Magnum in a pretty small gun. So if you compare size to size, you know, if you have a 9mm semi-auto at a similar size to like a Smith & Wesson 327, you're still going to be able to get more rounds. You're going to be able to get like 12 plus 1, maybe even 15 plus 1 if you've got the right gun, but usually it's going to be about 12 plus 1, so that is more rounds. So in that case, you kind of have to give them that argument. You have to say, yeah, you're right. Your gun holds more rounds. Now, you could make the argument that eight rounds of 357 Magnum is worth 80 rounds of 9mm. I mean, I might make that argument. You might not, but I would. But let's just give them that they have more 9mm ammo in their gun than we do in our revolvers if we carry a revolver. And we'll give them that. Uh, but sometimes you'll have people that carry like a 1911, and then they'll still make that same argument. And then you have to say to them, well, your gun carries like 7 plus 1. You know, there's lots of other popular 45 caliber guns that carry 7 plus 1 or 10 millimeter guns that are like 8 rounds. So those people lose the capacity argument completely. So now you just have the superior 357 Magnum round versus whatever they have in their semi-auto, but they'll still try to say semi-autos are still better, and we all know what they say. They say because semi-autos reload so much faster. But is that true, or is that just something people love to say? That isn't true. That's something people just say based on inexperience or something they hear people in, you know, like really tight graphic tees say on the internet to make themselves seem tough and make it seem like maybe their tattoos weren't bad life choices because, you know, they're really smart people. But I just don't think that's true at all. In fact, I'd be willing to dispel that whole notion completely. Uh, now, I'm not going to say that you can reload a revolver as fast as you can reload a semi-automatic, but you can do it practically as fast and close enough that it would not make enough of a difference to justify having the inferior caliber, let's call it. So let's take a look here real quick, just for me to put my money where my mouth is. I am not a very proficient reloader when it comes to revolvers. I'm not someone that ever feels like I'm going to have to reload, so I don't really stress it as part of my training re uh, regime, regime, whatever. Uh, so... I'm not the best at it. I'm not even, I wouldn't even say I'm proficient at it. But let's just take a look here at how I do when I reload a revolver. Now, I'm going to tell you right off that the first time through, let's do it with no rounds in the chamber because I only have one extra moon clip to put my snap caps in. So the moon clips would have, the snap caps that I used in the gun would have to fall out when I did it. And I didn't want to pick them all up all the time. So the first time through, let's do it with no rounds in the revolver. You just got to imagine the rounds falling out. The rounds that would be in there normally would be in a moon clip, so they would come out easily in one piece. That's one good thing about moon clips. So let's just take a look right now with no rounds actually in the cylinder, but you'll still get the idea. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. See, even for a slow, clumsy old man, that wasn't excessively long. It wasn't really any longer than it would take me to reload a semi-automatic. I'd still have to retrieve the magazine from wherever it was and get it up and put it in the gun. Now let's try it one more time. Let's take a look with actual rounds in the cylinder, which are going to fall out into the floor, just so you can see rounds fall. Now remember, if these were in a moon clip, they'd actually come out more in unison and more cleanly. So let's watch it now with actual rounds in the cylinder. Pew, 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 pew. 
pew, 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 pew. As you can see, not that difficult. Now, one thing I will say, some people will tell you that when you're reloading, that you should bring the gun in close and drop it down to reload it. That way you have less room that you have to move to actually get the rounds from your pouch to your gun. Well, I don't do that. And there's two reasons why I don't like to do that. For one, I have more trouble actually getting the rounds in the cylinder when it's down here this close to my body. I don't get them in as naturally. So the time that I save in having to move my hand, I lose in fidgeting with the rounds. And also, if the gun's down here and I have to look at the cylinder, I completely lose whatever I'm shooting at, even in my peripheral vision. Whereas if I do it out here, if I have to look at the cylinder, I can still see in my peripheral vision what's coming at me. So I actually prefer to do it out here. Now, you might find it, be it might be different for you, but that's what I actually prefer. So, you know, as you can see, not that big of a difference. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually retrieving my rounds from just a basic basic that we've... Uh, HKS speed loader pouch that I wear on my belt, which snaps open and close like a lot of magazine holders do. So that's what I'm actually pulling the rounds from. I know you couldn't see it in that shot, but that lets you know what I'm actually carrying the moon clips in. So as you can see, it's not that difficult to reload a revolver. It doesn't take that long. It really doesn't make a difference. If you're carrying a 1911 or you're carrying a Smith & Wesson 327, you're going to be just as prepared as far as capacity and reload speed. The only difference with the 357 Magnum is you're going to have a more powerful gun. Ugh, where the fuck are the other two? God damn, I knew I would lose some. Oh, God damn it, they're under the cabinet. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, hope people appreciate that.